Now you probably heard that the baby's tested positive recently. Poppins is getting sick. Oh no, I, I, I'm okay. I just have a little headache. It's okay. <sighs> Maybe I am really sick. Let's go quickly and see if there's anything we can do for Poppins. Poppins, Poppins! What in the world? She's gone. But there's a note. Here you go, baby. Let's see. Oh my goodness. I can't believe the babies are finally getting better. Now you probably heard that the babies tested positive recently. The twins, Belle and Anna. Here, you wanna eat my hair, Anna? I can't believe it. We've just been wanting them to feel better so that they can enjoy their new nanny poppins. But I have some bad news. Shh, be very quiet and I'll show you. Poppins is getting sick. Poor Poppins. Oh no, I, I, I'm okay. I just have a little headache. It's okay. <sighs> oh, maybe I am really sick. Oh, Poppins, I am so sorry. And I'm sorry for the twins too. And a little disappointed myself. We can't possibly lose our new nanny so soon. Oh, the twins were looking so forward to getting to spend time with her while they're feeling well. You know, with all her toys and all her fun stuff. Poor babies. It's, it's going to be okay. We just hope Poppins heals up soon just for herself. Oh, here you go, Belle. Well, I've got to figure out what to do with the twins this morning while Poppins rests. <laughs> Babies, oh, I'm so glad you're feeling better. But is there anything we can do to help Poppins? Hmm. What could we do? You know what? I have an idea. Do you remember Granny Pumpkin? I just heard she opened a new shop and she always had fantastic ideas on what to do to help. Should we go visit Granny Pumpkin, Anna and Belle, and see if she has any ideas for our new nanny? Oh, this is so fun, the thought of getting to go shopping. Isn't that right, Belle? Oh, sweet girl. It's going to be okay. This is really her first shopping trip with us ever since going coming home from the adoption center. It's okay, Belle. We'll take good care of you. So we've got to make sure we take It's okay, Belle. It's going to be okay. Here, we've got to... We've definitely got to fill our wallet. Granny Pumpkin, always at her old shop, had so many fun things to buy. I just hope whatever we find will really help the twins' nanny. Oh, it's okay, Belle. Belle's just seeming not sure about this. I hope she's not ha regressing in her illness. Are you not feeling well, Belle? Oh, maybe she just had a little burp. It's going to be okay. Okay, well, we've got our wallet and our money and the babies. Let's go quickly and see if there's anything we can do for Poppins. Shh, babies. Shh. Let's tiptoe out of here so we can let Poppins get a little nap while we go see Granny Pumpkin. I just definitely have to wear my brand new pink coat for the first day of shop opening. I guess I have to set up for this shop. I got a books and some medicine just in case. And I gotta have some socks. And of course I have to have a fun loom. And it makes fancy things like these. And I also have to have a lunch box. Well, I sure hope I have some dollars to come here today. Oh, I hear someone coming. Well, wouldn't you know? It's Mrs. Gully. Ooh, with some new babies. Why, yes, Granny Pumpkin, it's me with some new babies. Granny Pumpkin, so good to see you. Well, what little cutie fruity patooties. 
Why, yes, Granny Pumpkin, this is Anna and this is Belle. And they just got over the worst sickness. Oh, you don't say. Poor little darlings. But that's not all, Granny Pumpkin. Their nanny Poppins is just starting to get sick. Like, very sick. Oh, I'm so sorry you don't say. So I know you're not a doctor or anything, but would you possibly have anything to cheer up? A sweet nanny who's starting to get sick? Well, how much can you carry back? My sop is a fish thing. Oh, well do show us what you have. I think the babies love being here. They're so excited. Well, first of all, I have some medicine. A pair of socks, just one moment. Uh, you need two pairs of socks for that, you poppins. I won't start anything for the extra pair. And a loom will keep it busy. And a cute books he can read. Aw, that does kind of look like poppins. Okay, your price is $15.99. Okay, $15.99. Good thing I packed my wallet. Okay, so I don't have $15.99, but I have a 20 Granny Pumpkins. Do you have change? Of course I do. Awesome. I can't wait to take all this back to Poppins. Granny Pumpkin, thank you so much. Well, I always like helping a darling. Well, it looks like I'm done for business today. Just about sold out my shop, but tomorrow's a new day and I'll be back. Poppins, Poppins! What is that? Where is Poppins? What in the world? She's gone. But there's a note. It says, I'm so sorry. I'm going home today. <gasps> home? I think there's another one. To rest and to take some medicine and to quarantine. Oh no, poor Poppins. Oh goodness, I think there's one more here. But I'm sending a surprise. A surprise? What could that be? That's the doorbell. I wonder if that's the surprise. Oh Poppins, we hope you were okay. And what could the surprise be? I'm Nanny J. I'm sent to you by Poppins. I'm also a baby bill professional, certified nanny, and I'm here to help. Nanny Jane! Oh my goodness! Oh, baby born twins! You will get to have some fun with a nanny after all today! Absolutely. We're going to have so much fun! Now before Belle and Anna have their playtime with the new Nanny Jane, I just can't wait to know what their names are so we don't have to just call them Baby or Little Girl. You deserve a beautiful name. That is something we must figure out today. These sweet babies are adopted and their story is a mystery and no! Oh my God. Goodness, the adoption center. This is terrible. Why, good morning, babies. Who are you? Oh, wow. You are both so bright eyed this morning. today. I'm so glad to see you. Oh, she wants her twin. Look at the sweet sisters. They're such an armful, but they're so cute. And I'm so glad to see this one's awake. She just slept all day yesterday, and I'm hoping she's okay. But she's a bright eye today, which is a good thing because we have a bunch of work to do. We just got two new babies, and you wouldn't believe all the laundry we have to do today. Like, a lot. I have all the laundry baskets out. Today it's the day to fold the leggings. 
So you girlies are so, oh, is that ticklish? I think they're so much fun. I also have their passies for them. That maybe they would like half. Does that feel good? Well, it seems like she's enjoying sucking. <laughs> But this one just won't stop talking. Well, uh, for some reason she thinks it's funny. But at least she's happy. But li listen, this one's enjoying her passy. Do you hear her sucking? She's so sweet. Oh, she's so cute. And this one's just such a funny girl. And you probably noticed me calling them girl because we don't know their name. And I really feel like today must be the day when we figure out what their names are. We just don't know what their names are. But we're gonna find out somehow, baby girl. Yes, we will. Okay, well, I should show you all the laundry we have to do, girls, in this house. So many leggings. This is Christie's. These are Toria's. Oh, isn't this so funny, girls? These are baby Emma's. Oh, I'm telling you, we have so much laundry around here. Now, last but not least, we have to do these girls. Oh, I still can't believe we don't know their names. That is something we must figure out today. But I just don't know how. How do you solve a mystery of what two twin babies' names are? I just don't know. Well, here's all the twins' laundry. Isn't it such a happy pink pile? And honestly, while we're doing their laundry, I might as well get them dressed for the day today. Out with the old. And on with the new. Boy, I just have so much today. Finding out their name mystery is not the only thing we have to do. I also have this tree you probably noticed behind me that, that I need to take down. I don't know, maybe I'll solve the mystery while I tidy up around here. I'm just glad that all the leggings are folded for today for all the children and babies. And now we're getting this done. So we're making progress, but we just can't lose focus on the biggest obstacle to discover today. Figuring out what to call these babies. Well, we'll just keep on going. She's all dressed. Oh, she's so cute. So now that this little girl is all done, Toria picked out this pretty pink outfit for you, little sweetie. I just can't wait till we can call you your name and not just little girl or sweetie. But I'm sure that will come soon. Hmm, how to solve this mystery? I guess I could call the adoption center. Is that what you would do, little sweetie? They didn't seem to have any information when we picked them up yesterday, but who knows? Maybe they would have found a clue. Oh, you're getting about getting tired. Oh, she always gives me so many false alarms. I think she's tired, but honestly, she's just chilly. You wouldn't believe the night of sleep we had last night. She was up all night long. She just loves to party. I wonder if her name will reflect her personality at all. Well, I think Toria did a good job picking out this outfit for her. And I think now we need to go pick out a couple new headbands for your babies. So I really need to get a cute bag for all of our baby doll headbands. But this is what I have so far. It's just a Ziploc. And Christy told me which one she thought would go well with the babies. And she thought this one would go well with this girl. I just can't wait to know what their names are so we don't have to just call them baby or little girl. You deserve a beautiful name, little sweetie. And so do you, little sweetie. Oh, look at how cute. Christy and Toria picked out the cutest little outfits for these girls today. They're getting all quiet, which actually might be a good thing because now maybe I can lay them down for a nap and continue the search for their names. Now that they're happy, my laundry's done. I guess I just need to put away this decoration and then begin solving the mystery of their names. How is this mystery of their names gonna unfold? 
Who knows what their names are? These sweet babies are adopted and their story is a mystery and we know very little about them. But we have to just go on with today like it's normal. These babies just need a lot of love and normalcy after maybe all the adventures they've been through. Don't you girls? Oh, I think they are getting sleepy. <laughs> Oh, look at this one's even like covering her eyes. And this one too is getting so tired. They love sleeping together. They're so tight. It's okay, sweetie. It's okay. Oh, why are you tired? Well, this one's fast to sleep. So maybe this one just wants to be with me for a little bit. Come here, little girl. I still can't get over that I'm calling them little girl. You need a name. Well, let's put away the tree and, and you know all those laundry baskets? Well, I wanna write out everyone's names and attach it to the basket so we know whose leggings and laundry is whose. But we just don't know what the new baby born twins names are. So I can't do this yet. Well, I guess maybe I should work on that tree. What do you think, baby girl? Oh, I just want to call her a name. We have to figure out what their names are. It's so important. She's all tucked away here. So we're going to just push this back while we, while we do the tree. There we go. I'm so glad she's getting sleep. You must be all tired from being up all night with me. Well, I guess that's what's to be expected. But now it's her turn to be up. <laughs> Let's get this tree down. Uh, I have to be honest, I'm a little bit intimidated about both of the challenges of taking down this decoration and figuring out the twins' names today. I guess I'm gonna tackle my first challenge, the tree. Have you ever taken a tree down? I hope I can figure this out. I haven't. I hope I can figure this out. Hmm. How does this work? It's so big. Hmm. Maybe if I just pull. Oh, no! What are we going to do? How did that even happen? Oh, little girl, I'm so glad you're okay. And little sister slipped through all that commotion too. Oh my goodness, I actually tipped over the tree. Oh my goodness, today just is not going like I planned. This is terrible. Well, I guess when something like this happens, we just have to tidy it up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is unplug it. I guess I should have done that in the beginning. And then, I think there's some things that I have to unplug in here to detach. And there we go. Okay, one step at a... Oh, that's my phone. I wonder who that could be. Coming, coming. Hello, this is Renee. The Adoption Center. Their names? Seriously? Oh my goodness, thank you. That helps so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. You'll never guess. That was the adoption center and they said that we should be receiving a package today that contains some information about their names. Oh little girl, maybe we will be able to call you a name by the end of today. Oh my goodness. But, you know what? Life has to keep on going on. Um, the mailman should be here soon. In fact, you know what? He's usually here by this time. Well, I'll just stay busy. I'll try to put this tree away while we wait. Hopefully there wasn't some mistake. So, still no sign of the postman. So I'm just trying to keep busy with this little girl, sweet girl who needs a name. I know little sweetie, she's very peaceful right now and her sister is still sleeping. So that 
gives me a chance to try to figure out how to put that massive Christmas tree into this bag. Whoa, whoa, we can't have another top leak problem like we did earlier. Oh boy. Ugh, part two. Where are we gonna store this massive bag? Top part. And last but not least, the base. Now let's see, can I zip this thing up? Ugh. Seriously, I had no idea that this bag would be so big. Did you, baby? Where are we gonna put it? I mean, look at this monstrosity of a bag. Whoa, this is gigantic. Oh my goodness. Well, the girls sure thought it was pretty, and actually I think the twins did too. That's the doorbell. Oh my goodness. This is maybe the first clue we'll get about your name, little sweetie. Coming, coming, coming. I hope that's the mailman. Oh my goodness. I wonder if this is a clue to your name. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here, letters. Let's go open this up. Oh my goodness, and you know what, something about it? It shakes. I wonder what's inside of it. I feel like it's only right to open it up nearby the other twin. Don't you think, little sister? Whoa, besides the box, there's letters here. I wonder if these will help solve the mystery. Let's open the first one. Okay, girly. So the first letter is a small, wide envelope with a note inside. Hmm. Could this be a clue to your name? Let's see. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Let me read it and we'll find out. You ready? It says, Dear Girls Play Dolls and Family, I love watching your videos. My birthday is October 28th. My name is Andrea. The best way to drink smoothie is through a milkshake straw. That is how I drink my smoothies. Love always, Andrea. Oh, hi, Andrea. That's one of our dolly friends. Not a clue to the name, but a really sweet note. And happy birthday. Okay, well, that wasn't a clue to your name, but really sweet. Maybe this letter is a clue. Let's see. There's one piece of paper and two pieces of paper. Maybe one for each baby? Okay, I'll read the note first. It says, I love watching you on YouTube with dolls. I enjoy it very much. I am in a lot of pain, so I enjoy watching and listening. Very cool how you act out. And the girls too. I am the one that made the drawing of a lady. I liked making them, then drawing a long time, but for a while I didn't, so I just started again. I love you and thank you. Your friend, Heather. Please tell your dolls I said hi and give them a hug for me. She wants us to give you a hug. There's a little hug from Heather. Thank you. What a sweet note. We love hearing from you all. But we've got to figure out this mystery for these girls so that people can write to you using your name, little girl. Maybe that's what the box is. The one that rattles. Well, let's see. Whoa are doing this one-handed. There is something in here. There's a note and a box. Well, all the other notes that we've opened so far hasn't solved this mystery, even though they've been really sweet. I wonder if we should open this first then. Maybe this will be a clue. Do you think, baby? What? Handy. Is this a clue? It's very sweet. Mm. It smells amazing. Wow. What could this be for, baby? Maybe none of these things are clues, or maybe they're all clues. I'm a little confused. Let's read the note. Hmm. Okay, let's see here. This is from the Baby Doll Adoption Center. It says that the twins 
were never named. Oh, poor babies. But that there are tons of babies like them that are named Annabelle. Hmm, but there's two babies. We can't possibly name them both Annabelle. I have an idea. What if we name one of them Anna and let me go get the other one. Come here, little sleeping beauty. And we need this one, Bill. Anna and Bill. Welcome to our family. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single video with them and their adventures. And right now, go click the video in the description below this video to see yesterday when we found them under a tree. I'll see you over there. Bye-bye.